Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobi's Mark here, and we are finally working on the Guardian Ape. Oh man, been working on this one for a long time, and finally got him, and it felt so good. Felt so good. All right, so let's get started here. So we're gonna do a lot of running in this fight. Lots. We're gonna do a lot of dodging and a lot of jumping, but running. We're going to be doing that a lot, so get ready. Also, be sure you have the loaded firecrackers for phase one. Uh, it's very important you have it, so be sure you got it equipped. Uh, the grappling hook attack, it's not its not massively important, but it does help. There is an opportunity you will get to grapple and attack him. Um, also, antidote and pacifying agent, those are good for poison and terror. We'll need that. Max out your spirit emblems. Echoes and Gokan Sugar are also helpful if you're uh, having some trouble. Get ready to do a lot of dying. We're going to learn his rhythm. We're going to learn his methods and his attack methods, and it's all rhythm-based. And also, I know it sounds weird, but relax. Like, if you're having trouble with this guy, walk away, come back tomorrow. That's what I had to do because I was just playing it too much. Um, relax. We got this. All right, so there's our friend down there. What we're going to do is we're actually going to jump off to the right. There's no way to sneak an attack on him, um, at least not safely. So we're not going to do it. So we're going to jump down to this tree right here and um, go ahead and grapple yourself. And as soon as you land, target him so we can get set. Now, we're going to try and lure him into attacking us with, uh, with a poop throw first. You want to keep some distance between him. Sometimes you can trigger it, sometimes you can't. Sometimes he just comes charging, and that's just the way it goes. Um, but the poop attack, the poop attack... Okay, so uh, so here is something important, the grapple hook attack. So if you can get the grapple attack on him, go for it. Um, if you have the skill, because that'll allow you to hit him once or twice and run away. So the slash attack combo, he comes down and he just swings and throws and smashes the floor. Try to work your way around him to the back when you see him like this. We can get a couple hits in. Um, when he starts to stand up, we are going to get out of there. So immediately run because he's going to slash and he does a lot of damage with these attacks. Now, this is a gas attack. When you see him sit down, you can, if you're feeling saucy, get in there and hit him on the side. Don't stand directly behind him. You can get one or two hits. All right, so here it is. Here's the poop throw. This is the important one. You see him reach back like that and he jumps up you are going to jump up to avoid his dung because uh, it does a lot of poisonous damage and vitality also. Um, dodging doesn't work so well. Um, jumping is the best method here. And so once he is stunned, you only get like one or two hits in. Really, it's only one, but we're doing one hit and then firecrackers, loaded firecrackers. So squeeze and hold that right trigger. As soon as you, you use the firecrackers, run around him. Get behind him because he will squash you if you don't. And we do like, we're going to do hit, hit, whirlwind slash, and we're going to keep hitting him again. Now, if we hit him enough, it might actually stun him. When he gets up, you want to get out usually, but sometimes like this, he will fall back down if you do enough damage with your initial combo, and then you can get some more hits in. So this is like best case scenario. Look at his health. Now when he rolls back like this, completely ignore it. Do not try to go in there and get some more attacks. Just back up and try and lure him into another dung throw. Because um, the dung throws really do, and there he goes. He's grabbing, he's reaching around to gra <laughs> grab his poop. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and run in, and again, when we're this close, we don't need to jump. We're just going to roll, dodge underneath him, swing around. Remember, we get one or two hits. I prefer one. And then we're going to do firecrackers. And then we're going to work our way back behind him. And then once we get behind him, we're going to whack, whack, and hope that we can combo him. And we didn't. But we still can get a couple more hits in there. But you've got to get away. I, I, I was a little too aggressive there. Um, and he's sitting down for a gas attack. That's fine. I'm going to try and see if I can get a hit in. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little too far behind him. But I got lucky. All right, he's doing it again. This is great. So let's go ahead and run into him. And then jump. And I didn't do it in time. Well, go, that's good. Because I'm, I'm glad he hit me. Because I want you to see that if he hits you, do not get up and try and attack him. Just get up immediately and use the firecrackers. And then go in for your combo again. Because there's just, uh, if, if he hits you and then you go for an attack, 
then you're not going to get time to use the firecrackers. Now, when he does this leaping attack, he tries to land on you, grab you, and throw you. It's really, it does a lot of damage. Just dodge or jump backwards and get away from him. Sometimes, uh, you, if you're feeling aggressive, you can circle around and maybe get a couple hits in. And that's what this attack, this fight is a lot about, is taking one or two hits when you can fit it in. Like, I should have, I missed that. I should have taken that attack. Um, he's going for it again, so it's a jump. And then, let's see if we can get it. Oh, I totally missed that hit. But that's okay, I still got the firecrackers in there. So we're going to keep laying into him. Be really aggressive here and try to get him, get as many hits as you can. There's the leaping attack again. Um, I was able to get one or two hits in. And uh, this is a war of attrition, really. Like, you're just trying to get in one shot here, two shots there. Just this fight requires a lot of patience. So here he goes. Oh, the temper tantrum. I love the temper tantrum. Well, we could. I, I usually only get one or two hits in, and it's from the top part up by his head. If you're down by his feet, you're likely going to get hit. If you're on the sides, you're likely going to get hit. And there we go. There's phase one. So um, phase two is phase two is actually not too bad. It's just the rhythm is so weird. It took me a long time to get that stuff down. So with um, phase two, we're going to be a little more aggressive. We're going to do a little more parrying. Um, but the fight does change quite a bit, and he doesn't he doesn't throw his poop anymore. So we can't do we can't do that combo. Okay, so once he comes back up, be sure you get some distance because he likes to do that terror scream. Um, by the way, he holds... Did you notice he holds his head up above? when he, That's just so gross. Okay, so the perilous attack. Yeah, be sure you jump over that. Don't do what I did. <laughs> you gotta jump over those attacks. They do a lot of damage. And one of my... Uh, w the, there's two really good attacks here. This, this is the first one. So when he, when he dives down like that, that means he's doing this belly this belly slide slash and you can normally jump over him and get one or two hits but you've got to get out of there because he's going to do that gross scream that he does with his old head and you got to get out of there because that it does a lot of terror damage and so there it is again so just jump over it i think he has two perilous attacks but the slashing one he is the most common so we're going to stand in front of him this time and we're going to try and parry some of his hits because it'll get us closer to um, actually his body so we can attack him but also we want to we kind of want to lure him into his big final attack which is this one so when he goes up he's coming for a really big attack this one's easy to parry you parry it and you can normally get like two to three attacks you're gonna go into him and we're gonna slash 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 and then we're gonna get out of there because sometimes sometimes he likes to do his scream after that too so all these attacks can be parried and so if you're feeling comfortable with it, parry those attacks and try and get one or two hits in. Um, I really like the belly slide slash because it gets you distance, it's easy to jump over him, and you can get some uh, one or two hits in there, sometimes three. But, oh, you can see he hit me. Well, I, uh, he hit me because I jumped a little too early there. So you gotta time your, your jump just right. Again, this fight is it's gonna require a lot of dying and learning the rhythm, so just be ready for that. Um, yeah, I got—I was a little too aggressive there. I should have—I uh, should have run out sooner. So we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, and try and jump over and parry. Here comes the big attack. There we go. So now we can go in, get a couple hits. Um, I'm, I was actually experimenting with um, the fire prosthetic here because I was wondering if it would actually work. And it did. It set him on fire. I wasn't sure if it would set him on fire because of all the water. But if you look at his health, it's not actually doing any real damage. Um, so that's okay. I was trying something new. So here he comes again with the sliding slash. The tip take a couple hits now look up at his health we're at about 50 percent now so yeah it does take a while to get his health down but not not that bad so this is me just trying to either lure him into the belly slash or i want him to come at me with his slashing combo because that's how we can get him to do his big huge attack and then he just falls to the ground and gets stunned and that's also Really, that's also one of the best opportunities we have in this fight to inflict damage on him. Jump over. Are you guys having fun with this game? 
Um, I'm curious what you guys think of this boss, if this is tougher than Jinishiro, because uh, I think Jinishiro is tougher, but go ahead and leave a comment if you'd like. Um, I, I think some people are having more trouble with this than Jinishiro, um, which is totally fine. Okay, so basically with the, the second wave, for me, what I learned is sort of luring him into this sl sliding slashing attack really is it is the easiest and it is I guess it's the way to cheese the fight but it's also the safest but you can like I'm doing here you can you could stand with him and parry and parry and parry um, but I found that um, my posture was going up a little faster than his so um, I preferred to sort of stay back and take the opportunities like this and slowly work on his health. Um, but yeah, you can be more you can be more aggressive. Now that terror that terror attack he uses quite a bit, so you, you have to be careful when you're going in and you are being aggressive. So I just did a double jump there, and that was that was actually by accident. So when he comes in with his slashing attack, um, the double jump doesn't really do anything. I did it again, I was just playing around with it, but it doesn't really appear to stun him any extra longer, so I think it might be a wasted opportunity to um, kill him, or at least inflict more damage on him. So let's parry that, parry, and his parries are so weird because he seems to lunge and swing, but his actual hit comes a tad later than expected. Oh, he got me! Oh, look at his health. Look how much health he has. But I have one resurrection left. My heart was pounding so hard at this point because, I mean, he's really, he's only like maybe six or seven hits away, and I totally fudged that because my heart was pounding. Um, it's okay. I got a couple more hits in. But I'm, I'm really one hit away from losing this fight, and this is the closest I had come to beating him. And so, yeah, I am basically trying to lure him into the belly slide because it is the safest, it's the safest attack, and there it is. And so I stay a little too long, but it was worth it to get <laughs> the final fight. But look at this. I totally botched it. Look at, don't do what I did. Finish the fight. I jumped out of my couch. I was screaming. It finally happened. And I totally, I looked at the TV, and he was still standing, and he started attacking. And so you can see when I grabbed the controller, I was out of my mind, and I'm running, and I lost. Uh, he wasn't targeted anymore, and I was kind of freaking out because I, was I thought I was going to lose the fight. I couldn't see where he was. So finally I targeted him, and um, I got the hit in, and I took him down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.